Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 11th episode of School Rumble. And, <clears throat> sorry, and last episode was quite an episode, like, just so many things happened. Well, for one thing, Mikoto hurt her hand, you know, fighting, sparring, you know, that kind of thing. Which I didn't pick up on at first just because she kind of was pretty subtle about it, you know. I mean, there's a little bit of hand movements and stuff, but there's no like, ah, my hand, it hurts so much, so it didn't quite click with me that it was bad enough to need to get bandaged up. It also didn't help that I thought the shrine visit scene that came after that was a flashback. I, I don't know why I thought that, but I just thought that came before the hand injury scene, so I was just all sorts of confused on that one, but anyway, getting past that, Kenji apparently is kind of like ascended, reached enlightenment, so that's, that's a pretty big deal too. He even had a fortune telling kind of booth set up there. And uh, yeah, also Tenma apparently lost her curry in the eyes of Katasuma, so that's it's quite tragic. And we had Kenji accidentally confess to Eri seconds before, you know, the beautiful older woman just kind of slithers from behind him and makes things a bit awkward. So, and we also had kind of a love confession sort of scene on the roof that didn't quite pan out. So, yeah, last episode was pretty eventful, honestly. So, I'm curious where we're going to go from here. So, let's jump into it and see. Three, two, one, play. You okay? Okay. Everything should be all set up and wow, okay. I. Okay, we're here. We are here. Just gonna turn my volume up. Wait, it's already at the highest it goes. That's unfortunate. Oh wow, Mikoto and Eri did everyone. I... I'm sure she said something important there. I, I did not pick up on it though. Just get. Saw that coming. <laughs> She's not to be discouraged though. As long as she has fun. Like the opening, I get it, good, good. I get it. I'm looking. I noticed. Trust me, that did not get past me. That did not get past me. Whew. I. I mean, they're all great, let's be honest. School swimsuit, classic. <laughs> we were not looking, we swear. We were just admiring the scenery behind you. Yeah, I usually don't have the volume this high on my like actual computer settings, but I, I need it louder. So yeah, we are we are at the pool. Like one of those cool, fancy pool amusement park things that you see in anime sometimes. I've always wanted to go to one. It looked like quite a bit of fun. And the animals make sense now. You know, as well as that one curry shot. I guess there's technically multiple curry shots. Because we saw the one before spinning. And the only giddy, I didn't think about it until now, but yeah, that makes sense too. Because they had their thing where they nibbled on it together. <laughs> that became their thing. Nada Karasuma Hanima. Okay. <laughs> Turtles. What? Is that a is that a good thing? Or is that a bad thing? I like turtles. <laughs> okay. I don't think I don't think they're as ready as you are. Oh no. Go defend them. You can beat them up, you can take them. <laughs> Fifth wheel. Yeah, I can... Feel a bit out of place now. Yeah, things were a bit awkward last episode. <laughs> uh, be careful what you wish for, cause Tenma. Tenma. 
Sweden. <laughs> Do I have to, though? She probably has someone she likes already. <laughs> okay, well, we know it's important to her. <laughs> uh, she just all alone. <clears throat> well, yeah, you didn't go over there to stop it yet. <clears throat> I don't know how many cycles it will take, but I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> you gotta run into something. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I think I'm starting to remember the preview now. Yeah, this guy. He knows her. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Yeah, don't be rude. <laughs> uh, are you? I, I guess you are. Can't tell the most generic name ever. <laughs> uh, well, this should be something. A little bit, yeah, but that's fine. <laughs> Just that one word she switched. <laughs> Is this praise or not? I can't quite tell. She did not take it as such, though. It's quite a cute swimsuit, though. It can't can't compete with Curry at the end of the day. <laughs> well, Kenji might have something to say about that if he was here. <laughs> Well, that's all she wanted, I guess. I doubt this will go too far, but we'll see. <laughs> he really wasn't. Like, he was always pretty distant and uncaring. Not ready to give up on him yet? Oh, it went even less far than I thought it would. His romance was crushed before it even began. Tragic. But they are still hanging out, I guess. You'd think it'd be a bit awkward, but guess not. That is generally how it works. <laughs> Excellent form, Tenma. <laughs> Just try to stay above water, though. That's step one, don't drown. Progress is progress. A girl touched me. I'm still processing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, girls genu genu genuinely do, so, so I've heard. <laughs> I was like ahead of ourselves. Oh, of course. Of course he's with them. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Now she's officially part of the set, you know. So, are we just going to go all hang out? Contest. Uh, uh, what kind of contest are we talking here? What if they win? You go to the, you go to the nearest love hotel. <laughs> Whew. That was a good shot of them, actually. That's a question. That makes the most sense. I guess. But Tenma, you're not great at swimming, though. Didn't we establish that? I mean, she got a little bit of practice then. We'll see if it makes a difference.
Yeah, which we still haven't confirmed that is yet. Although I'm pretty sure I know who that is. Yeah, the power of friendship, we, we can't fail. There we go. Tenma, just don't drown. That's really all I care about from your end. <laughs> wow, can none of them swim? Did we not think this through? Wow. I, because I, I expected Tenma to do that, but I did not in a million years expect them all to just fail like that. I mean, I didn't laugh too much, but that really was really good. And who's going to be under there waiting for you, I wonder? Why are you talking to me? Do I look, do I look like Curry to you? Very cute dress, though. The, cur <laughs> the Curry incident. That's what you'd call it, yeah. I, it just... This sounds funny. I think that situation was a much bigger deal to you than it was to him. Oh, is he ready to become a kappa again? Kappa setto. I think he just always yeah, carries it with him. Well, well, yeah, but we're already this far down the rabbit, the kappa hole. Question is if it's mutual. He just casually takes out his kappa set. Gonna actually confess? <laughs> I guess that's sweet. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he does seem to care about her at least a little bit. I don't think it was what she's most upset about. <laughs> He's mistaken about a lot of things, though. So it's okay. She was just looking for her sister. <laughs> Yeah, it looks better on her. How kind of him. Yeah, I. Next time we'll get a female size Kappa outfit. Hopefully they're not sold out. Yeah, that's nice, I guess. It's just a weird situation, though, but I guess it was sweet and romantic. I don't know. She's happy, that's what matters. It almost feels weird to see him back at school. Crime and punishment, really. Well, not really. He... That's our goal. See if we can do it. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I guess that's unfortunate for his specific situation. But they were talking about the beach earlier, so... Did we? I figured that was a one scene thing, but... <laughs> I see your logic. And it's a little secret. <laughs> it is quite nice. <laughs> Kenji's like, can I can I get in on this? Yeah, he wasn't in that scene, so this is for his first time hearing about this horribleness. That's casually. 
Just because you weren't looking in the direction doesn't make it casual. Yeah, Aerie has that effect on men. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess she's not over that yet. That door did not do anything wrong, Kenji. Oh god. Rest in peace. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> well, no, better make you feel better. Let's not get too crazy. <laughs> we should do some construction after the destruction. So, yeah, he's a bit scared now, understandably. Ooh. Oh. We are going to get into this now. I was hoping we would bring it up at least a little bit. I still don't know what that means. Nothing but turtles. <laughs> Yay, something to bond over. Now we feel closer. <laughs> uh, some good game of it, it seems. Yeah, Turtle's definitely not a good thing. About this beach situation. She's gonna be gone, isn't she? God damn it. People are going to think he's gay at this rate. Uh, you need to really look before you confess. That's lessons we're learning here. So that wasn't just an accident. Well, so does everybody else. Even if they don't know it yet. Well, <laughs> we went on a date. Hopefully they both had a good time. That's the worst. Oh. So you mean you don't have to? Oh. Oh, cool. Tudor Akira. I could definitely get behind that. All sorts of fantasies could blossom from this. Yeah, it's Kenji's attention. Well, <laughs> naturally, of course, gotta keep an eye on her, otherwise somebody else will just swoop her away. People already think you're gay, Kenji, you probably shouldn't say that. Kid almost knocked her over. Sure, whatever, just let go of me. Ow. Well, okay, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Apparently, we just allowed to have animals here. All three of them. <laughs> okay, I get it now. Right. You're next, man. Be careful. Yeah, that would be too much like your the protagonist of an arrow guy. We can't have that. Yeah, I feel like this guy is just trying to take the protagonist role of the show. What guys can I get as replacements? I'm sure Kenji would would I be up for it. <laughs> yeah, I can see why you might not want to invite the competition. And <laughs> all three of the people he did not want to see. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn, I'm always thinking. <laughs> it's for the best. Oh, now he knows now. Yes, you're... You've ascended. <laughs> Slightly too slow. <laughs> Saw that coming. Just one more. I wonder who that one more could possibly be. Yeah, there's Kenji right over here, guys. We could invite him. He's, he's nice in his own way. <laughs> uh, I'm getting to Tanya flashbacks from Gabriel Dropout. <laughs> it's way too similar. <laughs> yeah, just nobody else. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, it was cute when Satanya did it, but still. <laughs> well, they didn't seem to pick up on the hint. <laughs> Maybe it's not too late. Maybe you could chase after them. Eh? Oh. She... Oh no, wait, did she hear that? Uh, why did she come back? Did she forget something? Uh, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, how much that did she hear? Okay. It all worked out. <laughs> the smile of an angel. Or goddess, that works too. Okay. Okay, Tenma. We're, we still get to go to the beach, that's what matters. But, of course, you didn't get the true meaning. We have time to fix it, though. Yeah, that's what matters. Let's focus on the positives. That was our main goal. Let's be happy with that. Be careful, though. If you break some bones, it's not going to be a fun trip. Nobody can enjoy the beach in a cast. I seriously thought he was going to fall out the window. But yeah, Ken Toto, I think his name was. I did not know he existed until this episode. He's probably had screen time before, but he never can never register with me. He didn't make an impression on me. Because he's a very, and very deliberately, you know, generic kind of character. Yeah, some of these swims just look a bit familiar. But yeah, again, the episode just kind of ended way sooner than I thought it would. But still, he's going to the beach. If nothing goes wrong, that's something that's something to be pretty excited about. Okay, I did not need to see that. I did need to see that though. Oh wow, Whew. Harry, just good God, save me, Nick. Uh, what exactly happens next episode? I... Then do I want to know? I guess he just loses his trunk somehow. I will not. 
So that was the 11th episode of School Rumble. And the first scene we got was, I keep on calling it a beach episode, but it's it's not the beach. It's like one of those big old pool amusement park things, right? I'm pretty sure. It doesn't matter too much. The point is, characters in swimsuits, that's really that's really all that matters. It's, it's kind of the same thing. But anyway, yeah, all kind of whole cast went here to have a lot of fun. And Tema seems to be the one that was the most excited. She just kind of runs, runs off ahead and falls and keeps him running on ahead into the water. Everyone else kind of left behind. And as usually what happens in these sort of scenes, just a random group of guys come over and starts, and starts hitting on them, you know, nanpa, the Japanese term for it. And, you know, generally these scenes don't go very far, but it actually went further than I would expect here. Like, we actually had a bit of a bit of conversation going on there, and Tema kind of felt a bit awkward because she's over here, her three friends are over there, three guys went up to them, and suddenly, she's like, she's gone for three seconds, and suddenly she's like a fifth wheel or whatever she said. It's just kind of an awkward position she was put into. Although it became less awkward because eventually she got her own person to, to hit on her or whatever. And she was excited about that initially, but then she remembered that she has Katasuma. And although things are a little bit awkward right now, like there is the, there was the Curry incident, which is, yeah, made things a bit rough currently, but it's not like, it's not, it's not as if that makes her stop liking him. You know, it's not, the, the incident wasn't that quite that grave. So, you know, she can't go too much with that. But they did hang out. Like, I think he was helping her learn to swim and stuff. Cause she's not great at it at all. So, but yeah, eventually we just kind of transition into a little uh, competition to decide to decide the food thing. And what did we choose? Swimming. So, yeah, I know that I know they looked a little bit surprised when that was brought up, but I didn't think too much of it. But the reveal of why was pretty great because yeah, they weren't exactly a big fan of swimming being the way to decide it because apparently, literally none of the girls can swim to save their lives. I really did not see that coming. They just all jumped into the water, and I was expecting the three of them to zoom on ahead and Tema over there trying not to drown, and yet they all almost drowned and the scene just ended. <laughs> but that is so not what I expected at all from that scene. That was that was pretty great. That was that was yeah, that was really a really great way to have that scene. Now the next scene I don't have a huge amount to say about. We just had the rain and we were trapped together with uh Karasuma and uh I think this is the first real time they've interacted since the Curry incident. And yeah, so things are a little bit awkward. And she was actually, I think, about to confess there, but Karasuma didn't quite get it and just kind of thought she was concerned about, you know, the rain situation. And uh, he was kind enough to kind of just let her borrow his cop outfit, like most of it. He kept a little bit of it. But uh, yeah, she got to just wear it, which I love that. She looked great in it. Just cute Kappa girl. I mean, it was it was cute. It was nice. Not much, not much, not much to say about it though. But uh, the main thing that that Tema got out of that scene was just knowing that he does care about her. Like he obviously doesn't quite get her feelings completely, obviously. But the fact that he was willing to do that and is thinking of her, you know, her feelings and stuff. That's that's good, you know. That's we've recovered a little bit from the curry incident at this point, so that's good. And the scissor just seeing, just seeing her walking around in the cop outfit, she was probably a little bit confused, a little bit surprised. Like, Onei Chun, why do you why do you have a beak? Like, is there something you'd like to tell me? So that was that was pretty fun. Now it was after this we started to have discussions about the beach. You know, like we're actually gonna go as the big thing with apparently the guys that we were that they were flirting with and you know, hitting on them before. Which is interesting because I really did think that group would just be like a one like scene thing. Like I figured Kentado would probably have a bit more bit more stuff, but I thought that would just be it for those three. And it kinda of mostly was because, you know, they just got beaten up and couldn't go. So it pretty much was like that. But just it wasn't the initial plan. And uh, Eri, Eddie, she's she's still mad at Kenji. You know, he walks over there subtly. And I talked about that too. Like, he was talking about going over there subtly. And he really didn't. Like, he walked over there pretty straightforwardly. He just looked away as he did it. That doesn't make it subtle. If anything, that makes it look more suspicious. Like, do 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 uh, How's how are things going over here, my people? Like, it, I don't think it had the intended effect, personally. But just Eddie glaring at him. Just... Uh, yeah, I'm sure she'll forgive him eventually, just just not right now. So, Kenji just beat the crap out of the bathroom stall door, <laughs> scaring Kentaro a little bit. And at least we got a little bit of something between Kenji and uh, Tema this episode, because they both got a bunch of turtles. Which I didn't really know that was a thing. But yeah, you got turtles next to all this stuff. 
uh, and it has also also has them right underneath of it, under, underneath of it, underneath it. It says Moskoshi Zen Zen. Wait, no, that's a gun. Yeah, it's it's handwritten, so it's a little bit hard to read. Gambaro. Okay, that makes more sense. Moskoshi Gambaro. So basically, like, let's do a little bit better next time. Yeah, and even and it, it does say that in English actually up here. Now that I noticed that, and it even says the subjects: language, literature, math, science. Gotcha. So. But yeah, the turtles definitely are not a good thing. I guess it's just calling the students slow. Which makes sense. But he, he's glad he got the turtles as soon as he found out that Tenma has turtles too. It sounds kind of weird out of context, but it makes sense in this episode. And Kenji. We had a little bit of stuff with, between him and the teacher. And I'm glad we actually brought that up a little bit. Because it did create a bit of a misunderstanding when he accidentally gave the teacher the love confession instead of Tenma. That's a little bit awkward, but then to pile on to that, he actually, you know, invited a guy, some random guy, on a date with him. So at this point, yeah, if people start to get the idea that he's gay, like those kind of rumors start to circulate, it wouldn't be too surprising, especially because he actually went with him, you know. So it's how it it's how it goes, I guess. And Akira is apparently the tutor, because why not? You know, that's 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 fun. It's quite fun. So, yeah, Kentaro just walking around thinking, hey, all the guys are absent. Maybe I should get other guys to go instead. Who do I know that we could go? Well, there's those three guys, but I don't want to go with them. Then he walks in the door and the three guys are right there. That's just, just his luck. And two of them are pretty easily invited to the beach. However, Kenji, Kenji had a bit of a rough time, as is usual for the show. And he was trying to, like say that he wanted to go, but he kept kind of getting interrupted by people doing this similar kind of thing. And eventually he went full Satanya. It was like, oh, I'm just so bored, nothing to do. I sure it would be nice if somebody were to invite me to the beach, you know, uh, that kind of thing. And yeah, if you've seen Gabriel Drapa, you know what I mean. Like, it was so similar to that scene. It was also in, re in reference to, a, to the beach, so it was so freaking similar. It's kind of mind-blowingly similar, really. But, uh, you know... So, what was it that he said that Tema overheard? Because, yeah, he was just <laughs> looking all sad by the window. Yeah, I missed my chance to go to the beach with the girl I love. Okay, so he was vague enough on it that I can understand that Tema did not get it. Like, yeah, he could have been referring to Eri. Which would make sense, because he did kind of confess to her before, so if that's what somebody thought, that would make a lot of sense. But we as the audience know better. So... But at least, yeah, that way she knows that he wants to go to the beach, so he was able to be invited, so it all kind of worked out. So now he just has to put the moves on Tim at the beach, you know? And I guess that's why he decided to ditch the trunks, because that way he gets to show her what he's packing and can woo her better, I guess. Maybe that's maybe that's what that's about. So, anyway, she does seem supportive, though. Like, she thinks it's a different girl, but she's still supportive. Although maybe it's a bad thing, because maybe what you'd want is her to show some jealousy. That would probably be a better sign, but still. It's fine. It's fine. Kenji's gotta... Kenji will keep trying. You know, Moskoshi Gambaro, as the as the paper said. It kind of worked for this, too. But anyway, yeah, like, that, does, that, does that mean we're kind of going to get two beach episodes in a row, basically? Like, that's pretty crazy. I think Gary wore a different swimsuit in the preview than in this episode, too. So, and she looked damn good in it. I'll tell you that. But anyway, yeah, definitely something to look forward to, for sure. So, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Hopefully well for Kenji. Probably not. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.